Hello to everyone watching this footage. It's Leviathan here again. And to start things off, I'm going to introduce myself to newcomers. I'm born high functioning autistic. I'm obsessed with fiction. And I'm planning to make my own creative universe like the late Stanley did. I uh, I would like to thank you guys for um, helping me with the ASMR video in terms of views. Last I checked, it's like 112 views for that one video in a matter of two days. For, yeah, so I want to thank you guys for helping me with that. I also made an ASMR channel so that way it could help people notice my creations through trends because I heard a lot of people love ASMR and such, so I just figured. In this video, I'm going to introduce three things to you guys, and I hope it's all worth it for you. Just bear with me. Sun snakes. Real name? None. Length and weight fast. Status anti-hero in Servants of Saul. Base deep space. Intelligence when ham brains. Behavior. Woeful and mischievous. They will always honor their master. Weak lethality. One sun snake can destroy all the terrestrial planets in unison. Weaknesses. They hate the wrath of their master. Powers. They have immense size and strength can constrict almost any opponent, wields a set of poisonous fangs, and can project streams of solar energy from their eyes. They also have infrared vision, eyes glowing red, hair solar-based horns. Origin. One time, Sa'ul decided to show her love of snakes by making the perfect servants. Soon, she gave the ability to spout a variety of solar-based servants from her mouth, which she called her sun snakes. Despite their loyalty to Sa'ul, the Sun Snakes were prone to getting too mischievous at times. One time, during a space fight against a swarm of space worms, the Sun Snakes made the mistake of killing Uma. When Sa'ul learned of this, she condemned them to stay inside her until they were forgiven. Luckily, Goddess also knew of this and used her powers to bring Uma back, and Sa'ul forgave her Sun Snakes. Since then, they'll do anything to keep history from repeating itself. Costume? None. Teams, they simply work for Sa'ul. Original inspiration, stars, and snakes. Here's the uh, second character. Slither. Real name, none. Length, 650 feet. Weight, 67.5 tons. Status, anti-hero in rival of Queen Conga. Base, Africana Alpha Earth. Intelligence, 3.5 brains. Behavior, snarky and brutal. She always considers herself to be the true ruler of Africana, no matter what Queen Conga says. Lethality. Highly deadly to both her opponents and her prey. Weaknesses. Cold temperatures and stab wounds. Powers. She has great size and strength, can constrict her opponents, can burrow and swim at great speeds, infrared vision, and an acute sense of hearing and smell. She is skilled at attacking by surprise. Eyes deep red with vertical pupils, hair blackish red and a short bob. Origin On the birth of Africana, Cosmic also made a reptilian egg that will hatch when she decides. One day, Queen Conga was hunting a herd of sauropods when she found something unexpected about the herd. Turned out there was a massive snake girl with a blackish red tail attacking the dinosaurs from underground. After a while, the snake girl revealed her name to be Slither, and they were debating who should be the ruler of the island. After a time of disrespect, an outraged Slither decided to swim to the native San Francisco, where she was attacking the city. Eventually, Queen Conga saved the city by defeating Slither in a fight. Since then, Queen Conga decided to control half of the island for each of them, which Slither no longer minded. Costume. She simply wears a turquoise latex top. Team solitary or with others, original inspiration, snakes. Here's the last character, which by the way has an illustration that I've made that I'm going to show through editing and such. So I hope you enjoy. Lady Ravana. Real name unknown. Height 25 feet, weight 3 tons. Status villain and expert warrior. Base India mobile. Intelligence 3 braids. Behavior. Bloodthirsty and stubborn. She'll do anything to end Hirikashiks. Lethality, as above. Weaknesses. She has bad anger issues. Powers. 
She has great size and strength, is a weapons expert, and has the urge to kill. She can track down her targets via smell. Eyes, bright red, formerly light blue. Hair, yellowish tan, and scruffy. Origin. One time, there was a young archaeologist who traveled to the ruins of India for ancient artifacts. However, she found a statue of a warrior with ten heads and twenty hands, who she recognized as the mythical Ravana. When she looked into the ruby eyes of the statue, it zapped her and knocked her out. When she awoke, she found that she was now twenty-five feet tall, along with developing ten heads and ten arms, with two hands on the end of each arm. After experiencing shock, she soon developed the eternal desire to kill everyone. When Lady Ravana encountered the six-legged Roundhouse, she successfully defeated her in a fight. But when Roundhouse called out to Herikashix, she was able to defeat Lady Ravana in a rematch. Since then, Lady Ravana will do anything to destroy Herikashix for payback and recently made herself the dominant ruler of the Elephantine Rakshasas. Costume She mainly wears a set of Indian armor with a long skirt, alongside wearing a pair of golden sandals. Team Solitary commands the Rakshasas or with other villains. Original inspiration, Ravana of Indian mythology. So those are the three themes I'm going to introduce, and... I really hope my messages were comprehensible and such. I've been trying my best. You know? And if you guys want, you can like, subscribe, comment down below, and share if you want. You know how it is. Hope you guys enjoy the rest of the month and such. I've been trying my best to keep this all as natural and as intended as possible. And, yeah. So, until next time, in transmission.